Hello, I'm Nejla and today we're going to play with triangles. Triangles are very powerful symbols and can mean multiple things depending on their position. Pointed upwards, they can represent power and stability and pointed downwards, they can represent true wisdom. Triangles are also connected to the number three, which is a very creative number and uh, can represent the union of multiple things. For example, body, mind and spirit or past, present and future. So let's go warm up and play with triangles. Okay, before we bring in the power of triangles, we're going to do a short warm up and just start by shaking out your body. Stay in parallel position, hip width, and just shake everything out. First the legs and your pelvis, and then your shoulders and your ribs and your head and your hands. And then drop your weight, bounce down into the floor. And then right and left, shift it. Shoulders forward, back, forward, back. To the side, bend it. One more time, down. Right, left. Shoulders forward. And then a slight spiral, look back and come center. Look the other way and come center. And look back and center. One more time. And, and one more time. And, and bring it center to calm. Shake out your right leg. Shake out all the tension, release your ankle, your toes, and the other side. Shake out your leg, shake out the tension, and play with your balance, and back. Hand, right arm, shake it out, release your head, and other side. Shake out your left arm, and release. And now all together and shake it like a marionette into different directions and and bring it back to center. Stand in hip width parallel and then make a triangle in your pelvis and just take a deep breath in focus the energy into your triangle and just feel the power in your center and while you are focusing in and breathing in deeply to that triangle also imagine an invisible triangle in the sole of your feet and the ball of your foot, draw a line to the outside of your feet and then another line to the heel and then back to the ball. So you have a nice triangular base. And take a rest, bring your arm up to your heart and breathe in. Breathe in true wisdom and breathe out and breathe in wisdom and breathe out wisdom and breathe in wisdom and breathe out. Now that we are connected to our bodies, we're going to work on stabilizing our legs a little bit more. So in a wide second position, not too turned out. This is not very stabilizing, more, more of a triangle that way to the center of your body and a triangle this way from the toes 
to the tip of your head. So we're having the body is in a triangular position in a way. And we're gonna bend our knees and straighten our knees with raising our arms up over your head. So you're gonna go one and two and three and And now you're going to reverse. You're going to straight up, then bring your arms down and bend your knees up together and bend. And up together and bend. And up together and bend. Last time, up together and feel the triangle in your feet and the triangle in your whole body and now we're going to just make small circles to the right and with your upper body two more small circles just to relax your upper body and Bring it down. And one more time. And you're going to do circles to the left. Feel your legs strong and pushing into the floor while you're doing the circle, freeing your upper body. And down. And now we're gonna go work on our shoulders. So you're gonna go bend your arms into a triangle, open triangle, the receiving triangle, open up a receiving of wisdom and then back down and relax. One more time, up and open and down and rest. up into a triangle and we're going to work on bending to the side on your opening your lateral motion to the side and side and this needs a lot of strength in your legs and if you get tired just stand up and do it with straight legs you have the same benefit for your lateral. Or you can bend and do it this way. And relax. Very good. Now we're going to go into the magic movement of the triangle position that is so famous in yoga. So you're going to open up your side and you're going to bend into. This is easy for beginner's position, and you can extend your arm, and then also to release your head, you wanna go look down and up, and look down and up. And if you have more flexibility, you can go lower, and if you're more advanced, you can go all the way down and relax into this famous, powerful triangle position. And relax into it. Stretch. And come back up. Now we're going to do a reverse triangle. We're going to push your pelvis forward and stretch. 
open your ribcage, feel the length, feel the stability, then your legs push into the floor, grow roots all the way down and come up. Then change sides, right leg comes in parallel, left leg turns out and my carpet is going apart and then we do the same thing push your pelvis hips out and then hold here if you're a beginner and stay here for beginners and you can relax your head by looking up and down if you want a more deeper stretch go lower and if you want more go lower and just stay here Stretch, enjoy, take a deep breath in and imagine all the different triangles that you can find in your body, around your body, in the negative space of your body and then come up and do a reverse, keep your legs the same way, press your pelvis and hips forward ribs in, use your abdominal muscles and come back center. Bring your legs parallel and stay together. So here I'm going to work a little bit on spirals. I want you to bring a triangle over your head and I want you to walk and bring your opposite shoulder forward. So you're going to if you're walking with your right leg forward, you're going to bring your left shoulder and elbow forward. So we're going to go one, like an Egyptian, two, and three, and four. And you're going to go back, and back, back. This is called opposition and center. Relax. One more time. And spiral, spiral, spiral. And go back, 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 back. This is also great for tennis players if you're a tennis player. And The last one. And relax. And shoulder circles. And this is trying a warm up for today. And now just play with triangles and see what you come up with. You can put your favorite music on and just move and let triangles guide you.
Thank you for joining me in drawing in the wisdom of triangles. And if you have any comments or want more, please write down in the comment section your wishes.